I'm getting right into NXT. So we got to get going because this is the shortest segment we've got today. Because I got a lot to say. And I may, I may need more time. So uh, it opened up with uh, Gunter coming out as Braun Breaker is doing a promo. And this crowd is just, I don't know what's up with this crowd. This crowd, I'm, I'm over this crowd, you know. Cameron Grimes came out later in the show after he won the title for his father who had passed away. And half the crowd chants, you deserve and the other half chants, no, he doesn't. <laughs> his dad died and he won the title for his father. And we're doing the no, he doesn't anyway, whatever. And he's a baby face. So Braun Breaker's out there and he's getting all these chants and everything. And out comes, uh, out comes Gunter. And I'm like, oh, my God, I cannot wait to see this feud. Holy smokes, this is going to be awesome. They announced a match for tonight in the main event. So I figured, well, you know, maybe we'll have a run in or whatever. So then we had the Creed Brothers versus Imperium. And they're having this match. And uh, all of a sudden, in the middle of the match, uh, Fabian Eichner just walks out on Marcel Bartel. Like, there was no spot. There was no nothing. It's like he broke up a pin and then he walked out. And Marcel Bartel is all by himself, and he gets beaten. So I don't know what's going on there. Then we had uh, the two masked assailants. Uh, they uh, have been messing with the creeds. They jump them after the match. And they unmask, and the announcers are like, Oh, my God, look who it is. But they don't tell us who it is. And then uh, and then uh, the other one, I, don't, I remember who started and who ended, but the other guy goes, I know those guys. They're from NXT UK. I'm like, yeah, who are they? And finally they spit out. It's pretty deadly. But I think both guys forgot who they were. And someone in the, had to like tell them over the headset because it was forever before they told us who they were. So pretty deadly has debuted. They will be uh, squaring off with the creeds here. So then we had uh, Cameron Grimes coming out, and uh, as noted, he does his promo, and he's all emotional about his father's passed away, and the crowd's heckling him, half of them. And Solo Sokoa comes out, and he wants a shot at the North American title, and uh, they're going to have a match, so that should at least be good. We had a bunch of Joe Gacy promos that sucked. I don't know what's going on, but they're Joe Gacy promos, so you know the you know the deal. Then we had uh, Dexter Loomis versus Duke Hudson. <laughs> So they had all these vignettes over the weekend, you know, which couple's hotter and everything like that. So they show us a couple of the clips. And the clips are funny because, like, I've said it a million times. I don't need to see Dexter Loomis do a lot of matches. But, like, his character in the vignettes he's in, fantastic. Well, now he's got to wrestle. And so him and Hudson are wrestling. And they both end up outside the ring. And the referee is, is counting. And then uh, both women try to get their man into the ring. They both fail. Then all four of them fall down in an orgy-rific pile. But, like, they want you to think stuff like that, but they actually want to show it. So they cut away, they cut away so fast when they were all laying on top of each other. It's like, why are you even bothering if you're, like, afraid to actually show this? And so anyway, they cut away, and we never saw it again. They both got counted out. That was cool. Uh, then we had uh, Toxic Attraction versus Raquel and Dakota Kai. So for those of you, I don't know if you're uh, following this story or not, but... The WrestleMania was Saturday. You guys remember that show? Do you remember night one of WrestleMania? The show that started at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Eastern for the, the pre-show and ended after midnight. So six hours if you wanted to watch the pre-show. And then they decided, well, earlier in the day, we're going to do this NXT Stand and Deliver show. So, you know, if you're on the West Coast like me, it started at like 9 or 10 a.m. And I'm like, I ain't getting up at 9 or 10 a.m. to watch this show. But you know what? Some people did. And more power to them. If you're that big a fan, you're going to watch, you know, a three-hour NXT show and then a six-hour WrestleMania show. Like, I'm not going to say anything bad about you. I could use a lot of loyal, a lot of loyalty like that on this program. But anyway, so if you did that, if you went out of your way to watch three hours of NXT before you watched six hours of WrestleMania, well, man, what you saw, you saw Braun Breaker fail... To win back the title against Tommaso Ciampa. You saw an NXT Tag Team Championship change where Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai won the tag team titles. Well, if you put all that work into watching that show, Monday night on Raw, Braun Breaker won the title on Raw. 
And then uh, the next night, they did a rematch for uh, Toxic Attraction and uh, Raquel and Dakota and Toxic Attraction. They won those belts back. So you were sure rewarded for watching that stand and the liver show. So, yeah, we got new tag team champions. They have won the belts back. Then we had uh, Tony D'Angelo doing a segment. AJ Galante. This poor bloke. All he had to do was a ceremony to crown uh, Tony D'Angelo a made man. This was too much. This segment was horrible. Forgot lines. Nobody cared. And then uh, he was heckled. And then uh, Tony D'Angelo was given a ring. He's now the Don of NXT. He's a made man. MSK cut promos about how they won the titles. And then... uh, Grayson Waller's out there with his arm in his sling, and the babyface tag champs challenged the guy with the broken arm to fight for the titles tonight. He's like, dude, I'm hurt! So they didn't do the match tonight. And uh, for those of you wondering, I hate to break kayfabe, but uh, Grayson Waller's not hurt. But it looks so bad that they're going to pretend he's hurt. So that's why he had the sling on. Which is good! Because it looked like he killed himself. We had Nikita Lyons and Lash Legend. Whew. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I mean, the match with Vince McMahon at WrestleMania was like a thousand times worse. But I'll talk more about this in a moment. Santos Escobar and Legado del Fantasma ran into uh, Tony D'Angelo and AJ Galante, who are apparently a, a duo now. And, you know, they both essentially told each other to stay out of each other's business. And then the main event was Braun Breaker and Gunther, okay? And I was so excited to see this, like, headline uh, uh, takeover or whatever, whatever they call the takeovers now. And uh, I, I can't even believe I'm complaining about this, but they went in there and they had a very good match and they had a clean finish. Braun Breaker beat Gunther in the middle of the ring with his move, pinned him one, two, three. Now, why am I complaining about this? Well, they gave this away on TV for free as a setup for Braun Breaker's next challenger, Joe Gacy. The former Volter was a setup guy for Joe Gacy. That's going to be the feud and the long-term feud here. Joe Gacy has kidnapped, because we joke about it, but it's actually not a joke. There is a kidnapping on this show every other week. And this week, Rick Steiner has been kidnapped by Joe Gacy. That is the setup for this Braun Breaker-Joe Gacy feud that was set up by Braun Breaker just pinning Gunther in the middle of the ring in a random main event, unadvertised on NXT 2.0. The only thing I got to say about this is, uh, what the good thing about this match, besides the fact that it was good, was, uh, you know, Braun Breaker is, is going to be somebody. And uh, what I like is he's being thrown into the deep end. Because, you know, this was not something that Braun Breaker and Gunther practiced for a week. Like, Gunther's in there. He's calling spots left and right. So I think that this was kind of like a, I don't know, I shouldn't say last minute. But, I mean, it was sort of last minute because, you know, this whole thing on Monday was last minute. So, anyway, you know, he had to go in there and he had to do a, you know, call the match. I'm sure they went over some stuff, but this was call the match in the ring. Listen to Gunther. Do what he says. Get in there and actually work. Which, of course, is the opposite of what we saw with the Nikita Lions match. Nikita Lions and Lash Legend, like, they practiced their match probably for weeks. They got in there. You know, they they managed to pull it off. But you ain't going to learn to work like that. You're just going to be able to pull off a match on television. Which, you know, if that's all you want these two to do, that's fine. But Braun Breaker needs to learn how to work. And this match with Gunther, I mean, he was in there. And he's a better worker now after the match than he was before. So, I like that aspect of it. We'll get Mike Sauce after the break. Talk more. Observer Live. Anything else? All right, Don't Mike, your it. thoughts on uh, NXT 2.0? Uh, it's, uh, it's a, there's a lot of talent on that show, both a little bit seasoned and a lot of raw talent, obviously, with people like Braun Breaker and such. But uh, when they pulled back after he defeated Walter Clean, I just assumed Fabian Eichner would be standing there, you know? explaining where he went you know that would that would make some sense okay he just beat walter clean we just had imperium lose the tag titles uh, you know it, it things are falling apart but you know what he lost his mind went to the back and said you know what saw rick steiner there and 
decided to take him. I don't know. It would have made more sense, I think, than Joe Gacy. But I am not a seasoned CZW viewer. I'm not. I don't know if Joe Gacy did a lot of training at the CZW JoJo. I know a lot of people have come out of that, gone through it. The MJFs, a lot of people wrestled for CZW. I know he was a big part of that. I'm guessing, and I'm just I'm throwing this out there because I don't know. Maybe this is, obviously they want Harland with Joe Gacy to try to learn something. Maybe this is a good thing for Braun Breaker. Again, I am not Well, that... he's a fine worker, but, but that's he's thing. not, not... Volter. I know, and that's, it. I, to me, Braun Breaker working with Eichner and being involved in it, in, with having some friends go after that whole group, to me, would be better for Braun Breaker, but maybe... Again, this won't be the end of the world, but they the problem is it's just the Gacy character, and I I don't know to the NXT crowd, is it over? I mean, that's some no. of the metrics on some of the stuff that WWE is doing and doubling down on. It's like, you see, in some cases, it's worked. You know, Tony D'Angelo, people took to, you know, and he's been able to kind of hold up to his end of the own in the Ciampa feud. We've had Braun Breaker. We've had some successes there, but we've had some things that they have obviously done that keep they keep doubling and tripling down on that I don't think are very good at all. And again, I I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of up in the air on this because I know at the end Braun Breaker should be standing victorious, and I'm sure he'll do it, and I'm sure he'll do something impressive to Harlan to throw him, but. You know, I'm just kind of hoping against hope here because I really don't know about Gacy and the character and whether this people are going to care when the match is actually taking place. No, That's but maybe they have not. to maybe have to train him to do sports entertainment storylines. And so he's got to have this feud before he can go up to the main roster. It's so silly because that's where he should be. I just don't understand why you don't make that move. He's lost the Dolph already. And you just bring him up there as a surprise and he starts throwing people, whether it be on Raw or whether it be on SmackDown, especially with some of the moves that they've made. It's still, again, it's a continuation from yesterday. I just don't understand why he's there to do that when he could work with so many people on the main roster, go over them, and and, and they could build that. But who am I? Rob Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. Vince on the new woo! What Rob Bond's gonna do to you? Vinny be happy, Corbin and Bartlett in a three way. Oh. Here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett. He's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey! Oh, look who's star. here on the show, everybody! There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know? <laughs> You still got it. <laughs> you still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, wrong what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And uh, died you, April 28th, 1946. That's, that's he died in, okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. You're going to go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, 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 aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. and um, Lucky fella. I'm... Uh, I'm I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.